We are supposed to get snow. Four to eight inches was the last I heard, but the weather, cha weather channel is always changing what they're saying. Right now, it is raining. On Friday, acupuncture was canceled because uh, my acupuncturist couldn't get there. Um, I guess, you know, in different areas of the state, it is snowing, so I think that was like the big factor. Um, I wanted to show one product I have. Don't mind the, the X on it. it. I don't know why that's there. It's not like that it's not that because that's the label. This stuff I found really helpful. And I've had a reaction once to a magnesium gel. So I didn't think I could do anything with magnesium even though I take Epsom salt baths, which is magnesium. And this is Ohio Valley Herbal Products Incorporated Wild Herb Magnesium Cream. And luckily, since there's like nothing left in here, my mom just ordered another one of these today. And I've been using this on my feet because my feet really hurt me usually at night, the bottoms of my feet. And that's a common Bartonella symptom. And I've been using it a lot, a lot, like the rest of the bottle on my stomach and it's like right on my rib area so it's my really my upper upper stomach it's not near my belly button or below my belly button like pelvic stomach cramps or anything so i've been using that and it's been helping me this morning was really really tough i woke up in a lot of nerve pain which as many people know who have been following this channel, we really don't have a solution to right now, which is really, really frustrating. So, that was that, but my stomach also was hurting me, and that's not a nerve pain thing. So I took the magnesium cream, and I had to like shake it upside down a million times, and I used that. And then I ended up calling my mom in my room to give me some IV Tordal. And then I fell asleep while I was watching Four Weddings. So that was good. Um, it was really bad. I was like, you know, like I couldn't talk through the pain. It was so severe. My plan for today really is no plan. I'm hanging home. I have nowhere to go. I'm not going anywhere. Like, maybe if I feel up to it later, because I'm really not feeling so well right now. But it's not even 1 o'clock. It's just about to be 1 o'clock. And I usually never feel good at this time anyways. I might, like, clean up my room and do some really basic things like that. And some training with Sonoma from my bed or from my room. And I'll have to take him into the basement and play with him because it's yucky outside. But all I have to do is get to the basement and sit down and toss the ball. I don't have to go outside or be really active. So that's okay. And I'm just going to see how today goes. And Some days are filled with appointments and gymnastics, and today is not one of them, but I'm still determined to make it the best day I can. I just came downstairs for a little bit because Sonoma is just a puppy, and he just, come, here, come a little closer. I want them to see you in the camera. He's got his paw up like this, but you can't see it. Um, he just needs to play, and we're not playing outside today because it is gross. But we have somehow turned our basement of completely disorganized storage into an area that is the best suitable we could make at this point for playing inside with the gymnastics mats on the side because 
his um, ball gets all slobbery and it would get the slobber on the walls and easier to clean mats than to clean walls. So, and the mats, like it doesn't really matter. So I am down here, my Fitbit's on my foot. It is 1.59, so it's two o'clock. We're gonna play for a little bit until he fizzles out. And I'm just really, I'm really not trying to focus on what I'm going to do next. I just wanna focus on the moment and whatever happens next happens next. I don't need to plan my whole day exactly. What happens happens, what doesn't happen is okay. And I just need to take care of myself and do what's best for myself. And keep in mind that I have to get the ball. Take care of this pup too. Good boy. Can I come up, Sonoma? Yeah, come on. Whoops. Come on upstairs, buddy. Come on, go into my room. Come on, the door's open. Okay, well, I decided because, like, I feel like everyone knows how to do this but me. Um, I wanted to try screen recording on my phone, but I don't know how to do it. So I just Googled how do you screen record, and now I'm going to go through the how do you do it, and then hopefully I will have a screen recording put into this, if I can figure it out. So, talk about things not going how you planned. I just recorded a 15-minute screen recording going through my phone and I will do it again but I just don't feel like doing it right now because it took 15 minutes and showing my fight line for life page and reading some things off of there and yes I got it to record but I didn't press the audio thing to get the audio to record and I did trials to make sure before I did it for real but I guess it turns off and you have to turn it back on. So the whole thing is me going, flipping through my phone. But there is absolutely no audio, so I can't add that to this. But I will definitely do that as a separate video. Or whenever I feel like it, because I have to redo it, because there is no audio. Live and learn. So I'm just hanging out in bed. Sonoma is on the cool floor. There are snowflakes out there that you cannot see. <sighs> I'm getting kind of hungry because it's almost three o'clock and I haven't had lunch. I did sleep till like noon because I did not sleep well last night. So I like woke up and then went back to bed and kind of weird things. So I think I'm gonna have turkey. We have some. I'm going to go get turkey downstairs and come back up. And there was there's a gymnastics video I want to watch. I'm not going to screen record it because I want to watch it. Like, I really want to pay attention to it. Or I could screen record it, but then it would be sideways. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Because usually I would just record things from, like, take a video of my iPad. Because that's what I watch a lot of YouTube on. But if I just do it on my phone, I'll just do a little bit of it. Because no one's going to want to watch the whole thing about gymnastics. Straight line, elbow to elbow, head neutral. Elbow to elbow. Hands back behind your hips. Get your hands and pull your ribs in. Madeline, keep that leg straight, the bottom leg. Mari, move your arms. 
Come on, Annabelle, something quick, something slow. Okay, I'm seeing something slow and something slower. Quick off the floor, Sage. Up, get up quick, up. <laughs> quick feet, quick feet, cramp them up. No shimmy shake, keep the shoulders, keep the shoulders square. Hannah, square your feet up, don't cheat it. On the top of there. Okay, get this doubled up. Hannah, squeeze your belly. There you go. Keep that bottom tight. Like it. Sage a little early on the twist. Make sure you set the lay before you before you get into it. You still over here? Aren't you supposed to be over here? Uh, make sure that we stay safe today. We get in some good reps and uh, show you some of our skills. Get in there fast. All right, why don't you go ahead and do a pogo after this one? Tic tacs are with the bungee. Need needle kick, needle kick hard. Up. What are you looking at? Stretch tall. But we'll keep this tight. Remember that lower back. Bring your toes with you. But. So she just went tuck tuck. Okay. Okay, which is which is fine initially. So. Remember, pop that chest up, Kels. Okay? Get the chest up. Keep the belly tight and get the chest up. The pogo of death drill. It brings some awareness to their shoulders and their arms a little bit more when you put the weights in there. And this is just basic. They're punching and twisting just like the Sukers would be doing that. Just diving into the wall, holding the shape. Basic handspring shape. One who's very exceptional with, with some lines. So, and stretch it in, pop, hold, tension, stretch. I'm just, I just want to make sure that the shoulders don't collapse and the core is taxed or tested. So when they hit, first thing that goes is either the elbows, then the shoulders, then the core. And Sonoma, watch me. Sonoma, go shut it. That's it. Go shut it. Shut it. No, Sonoma, go shut it. That's it. That's it. That's it, Sonoma. Shut it. That's it. Shut it. Shut it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, almost. Go shut it. Go shut it. Push it a little more. Yes. Good boy. Good job. He got a little confused if he was like supposed to get the BAG right up there, black. But it's not time for that. But it is time for this, unfortunately. OptiNeuro. It's like a lemon lime flavor, but it doesn't taste bad. It just gets like, you get tired of drinking like the same thing. Good boy, Sonoma. We're gonna work on that more later, buddy. See the snow out there? Sonoma, go find my slippers. Go find my slippers. That's it, that's it. Find them, that's it, Sonoma. Good boy, bring them. Bring it. Give, yes, Sonoma, go get my slipper. That's it, good boy. Bring it, give, yes. Good job. Now hold on. Sonoma, watch me. Sonoma, go tug the door. Tug door, tug door. Nope, 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 tug, tug door. That's it, that's it, that's it. Good boy, tug, tug, tug. Tug, that's it. That's it, that's it, yes, good boy. Good job. Sonoma, get the laundry. Get laundry. That's it. That's it. Get the laundry. Bring it. Bring it. Good boy. Good bundling. Oh, the thing is downstairs. Oh, Sonoma, let's bring the laundry downstairs. That's it. Bring it. Good boy, Sonoma. 
Go downstairs, slow and easy. Easy. Go ahead, come downstairs. Sonoma, bring it. That's it, easy. Easy, good boy. Good boy. That's it, Sonoma. So dark. Bring it. Good boy. Oh, look, Sonoma. Hamper. Uh-oh, get it. Get it. You gotta bunch it more, buddy. Bunch it, get it. Sonoma, get the laundry. That's it, that's it, hamper. Yes, good boy. up. Look how cute Victor is. He likes to lay in between the door and the sliding thing. And I just noticed this. It's snow now, but it was rain before. Boy, come in all the way. We're going to brush your teeth. My mom has been leaving like these sticky notes and papers all around the house and it's been like so sweet like oh I just like you know sticky notes don't stick that well but um like smile you help others it's just like such a simple thing like in that smiley face but like it's true like I am helping people and have been told that I help people through my YouTube channel and through people I know physically and people that I know get your uh, move over I gotta get your toothbrush see and like she put like one in here Oma is like what we call Sonoma um, nickname Oma chose you because when I was first learning about ECAD they always they um, Lou Picard, the co-founder, said that, like, right away, um, you don't just get to pick which dog you like because of the dog's color, the dog's name, the dog's size, um, the dog's breed, whatever. It's about what dog is best for you, and the dog picks you. The dog picks, like, who the right person is for you. You don't pick the dog. So that's why she wrote Sonoma Chose You because he did pick me. And now he wants to get his teeth brushed. So we're going to do that. It's just so sweet. Smile. And this is, like, all our stuff from... Um, Green Chef. It's all like color coded, and I really need to cook tonight because we have a lot of stuff from there that needs to be cooked, like all down there. Sonoma, come! That's it. He just went outside. Good boy. Coming back in the bathroom, and I'm just gonna pick this up. So I can go flip back and forth between him and, whoa, that's close to me. Um, when, since I have a service dog, like the whole point of that, or a really big point of that, is to have him with me because he is to help me. So if he's not with me, he can't help me with something. If I drop something and he's not around, well, how does he know I dropped it? He just sighed really big. So, I don't know if people knew this, but, like, I'm just sitting here, and Sonoma does come into the bathroom every time with me, and that is except, like, in the middle of the night, unless he, like, wakes up, he'll follow me, but that is important because just like being in the kitchen or my room just because i'm in the bathroom or i'm in the bathtub even more um 
or in the shower, like he's he's in there. They're all bathrooms. I could have a seizure. There's less space. Of course, the floor is all hard. Well, we have no no carpet in our house, but still, he's with me everywhere. So he, if I accidentally close the door to the bathroom before like he comes in, he will like whine because outside the door and I have to like crack it open and then he pushes it to come in because he knows like this is his job to be with me and to keep me safe whether I'm in public, at home while my mom's taking a nap. Um, he is just always with me. So like I'm in the small bathroom downstairs just standing here and he will lay there on the floor. This is where he learned to put down the toilet lid and you know just a closet and just a small normal bathroom but he really does come everywhere with me he he really does come everywhere with me and that is really important and i also always have my phone with me because then i can text my mom if i need her for something See you next time!